You can call me hard for short or hard for long. Ha 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 ha. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Thayton, I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I did some shenanigans and hit a rocks, hit some rocks with a shovel and dug up some fossils, which you can see here. Um, so we've got a couple of fossils, we'll probably need to go visit the museum. We've also got a couple of thousand bells, which is super super sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my balance now. Alright. And then if there's new stuff in the shop today, we won't have to go scrubbing around for oranges like a newbie. <laughs> That's pretty nice. So I'll, I'll keep my fossils here. I should probably put down this instruction manual somewhere, but... You know, you know how it be. We've also got mail, so let's check that. Hello? Cool. What is it? Can you tell me what it is? Um... It's from an unknown sender. Wow, thanks, unknown sender. <laughs> Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I suppose I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Thanks, Tortimer. I mean, anonymous benefactor. <laughs> Super sweet. Um, so let me go back in my house. Check out that lamp that Isabel gave us. Hooray! And she also said at the startup screen that I should go and talk to her. So I'm supposed to go and talk to her and Tom Nook today. It's on the list. It's on the agenda. I got a lot of fishing and other stuff to do too. I'm just a very busy guy, you know? Let me display my instruction manual. It doesn't even have a, a shelf or nothing. I thought it would come with like a fancy podium. I'll just shove it in the corner. Ugly piece of crepes. <laughs> oh well. Can't can't be all cool all the time. So I should go uh, check out some of the neighbors. It's now the middle of the afternoon, so nobody should be sleeping. And should I unequip my shovel? I guess it doesn't matter. Hooray! I need a watering can. It looks like those uh those plants are dying over there. Hello? Out playing. Come find me. Alright, we're hunting for Tammy. Tammy, where are you? What's this? Huh? This spot was reserved for Paula's new home. Oh, sweet. New neighbors. Dang. Already? What's the maximum amount of neighbors that you can have in a town? I'm quite unsure. Hmm, Tammy's pretty good at hiding, isn't she? <laughs> Where you at? I just wanted to say hello. I just wanted to check in with you today. See how things are. Oh, there. What's your name again? Allie. We haven't met... We haven't met you, have we? Well, not formally anyway, but I know who you are, Mayor. Remember your first day here in Penis? When you arrived... I was here when you arrived. It was quite an event. I do remember that. Thank you so much. Our town has already gotten lovelier since then. You're having a wonderful effect on our town. My name's Allie, and I look forward to seeing what you're going to do with penis. <laughs> it's so fortunate that I named it that. It was really off the cuff. I, I don't know why I named it that. <clears throat> Boone's house. Oh, my boy Boone. What up with it? We gotta make sure Boone knows that we love him. It's our favorite. It's my favorite resonant. I even have a voice for him, where not everybody else has a voice quite yet. What's up, bro? Hey, Dayton. Glad to see you, but I'm fresh out of tea, baboon. So what's up, bro? I just wanted to chat. Checking in with you. I'm at the alpaca's retail shop all the time. I sell my furniture, clothes, fruit, shells. I think they'd buy just about anything if you took it to them. Sometimes I just sell everything in my house so I can replace it all with new stuff. Moving stuff's quite the workout, you know? I wish I could move all my stuff every day. Anyway, stop by retail. Check it out, baboon. Okay. I will. I haven't gotten any requests from people yet to do things, which I think is kind of sad. Because I really liked running errands and getting stuff from the animals, but maybe that's, maybe that's to come. 
There's some fishies. Oh, hey. My least favorite resident. <laughs> Hello, Dayton. You seem chipper as always. So what can I do for you? What's up with you? How you living? By the way, have you picked up any tools yet? I'm talking about nets, fishing rods, and shovels. You can use a net to catch bug and reel and fish with a fishing rod. Then you can sell your extra bugs and fish at retail to make money. I also suggest you buy a shovel. An X mark on the ground means something's buried underneath. If you dig up that spot, you just might discover buried treasure. You can buy just about any tool you need from Nookling Junklet. Nook, Nookling Junkling. Yeah. Thanks. For nothing. I should probably also hit the beach. Oh, it's Tammy. I was looking for you. Oh, excuse me. Over there. Would you mind coming over here, please? The beach? Oh, not the beach. Oh, thank goodness. Well, hello. As you can see, I'm a lamp. I mean, I'm inside a lamp. Rather important distinction. Anyway, I feel a bit awkward asking for another favor, but would you mind rescuing me? That's right, just pick up the lamp and take it somewhere quiet, like your house, for example. I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? Alright. I know I know how this one ends. <laughs> really? You'll do it? Oh, thanks so much. I'm a bit shy, and I don't love wide open spaces like this. You never know who's looking at you funny. Tammy over there, I seen her. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you to it. Come with me, little lamp. Try not to rub too much on the inside of my clothes, lest you pop out of my pocket. Oh, it's totally you! Hello, hello, Chimpy! Oh, so what's going on, Chimpy? I was playing hide-and-seek, but you didn't know you were being seeked, so you didn't hide too good. <laughs> oh, that's right. Hey, hang on a second. Well, I can't see. I thought I'd do a little quick change there. What do you think of my new outfit? You wanted to change clothes in front of me? Um... I think, I, I guess it's, that's a pr pretty great change. Yay, it looks that good? Then I'll totally stick with it. Hey, here's an idea. You should try a fashion makeover too. Here's something else I just bought recently. You can have it. Why not try it on? Aw, that's sweet of ya. This look is totally cool no matter who you are, Dayton. Do you know how to change? Open your pockets by pressing briefcase. Then put, put the blue tartan shirt on. Yeah, that's just what I gave you, so use the wear option to wear it. And while we're on the subject, clothes with names that end in tank are sleeveless. Clothes with names that end in shirt are long-sleeved. And those that end in tee are short-sleeved. Just a bit of fashion know-how for you, Chimpy. Oh. I can't say that I actually do love the shirt. But I don't want to be that person. That catty person. <clears throat> wow, that's... Not much different from what I had. But I do like the other one. So thanks for the uh, gift, but I think I'm gonna sell it. Sorry. Is this... I think this is uh, dandelions. I'm gonna take those. I think it's trash. It looks like trash. And again, they all kind of look like trash when you, when you don't water your plants. Right? Right. Quick trip to the beach. Causes some slowdown on the emulation. I don't think I'll be going here very often. And there's nothing to dig up down here anyways. Oh, but they got a pier. There's lots of new stuff in New Leaf that I have no idea about. Weird. There's nothing inside. It's a crab pot. Push it in the water. Nope. I keep pressing start. I'm supposed to press X. And then I get my little briefcase and I get my fishing rod and I go fishing Whoa. there you go the perfect cast <laughs> oh I guess it wasn't why don't you love me I guess I'm too close to his face or something yeah there you go just let it float down there eat it up eat it up yeah 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 come here Sweet. Squid. I caught a squid. Yes, I did. 14 inches? My goodness. It's quite a squid. Oh, there's another one. I'm just trying to fill up my pockets before I go and visit the, uh, the shop there. One of my favorite things to do in Animal Crossing. Just fishing. We just fishing. Alright, you don't want to come with me? Fine. I don't need you. I don't need you. I got your brother. Or maybe it's your brother. 
I don't really know. Whoa, that's a big one. Whoa, daddy. Holy macaroni. Take a couple steps. Cast it. There you go. Oh, he's... He's sneaky. It's not gonna go down the way I want it. Come on, come on. Look over here. I got something delicious. Oh, he is stubborn. It's probably gonna be, like, a very cheap fish. For as much time as I spend trying to catch it. How about here? You got it? Come on. Look over here, buddy. There you go. Aha! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> yep, that's a sea bass, alright. See? A bass. I wonder what my new encyclopedia says. It says that it's not worth very many bells. I know that for a fact. I guess we'll go and visit Isabel before we go on to the, uh... The nookie shop. Oh, what's this? Retail. Get extra bells today if you sell the following. Venus comb shell. Can I just sell anything? So I guess I don't have to go all the way to Nook's shop. That's convenient. Just in case you uh, catch some extra stuff, you know? Oh. Miss Reese, ma'am, I have something to s I'd like to sell. Oh, hello, Timmy. What'd you bring for me today? I have a tape deck I'd like you to look at. Okay, I can take it off your hands for 175 bells. Or you could set your own price and put it in the back of my store for somebody else to buy. Which would you like? Nah, that amount's completely fine. I'd rather much sell it outright. It's just something a customer brought into our shop. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Okay, understood. I want your tape deck. I tried to buy a VCR yesterday. It was 2,000 bells. That's, that's inflation. Thank you. With your help, we've been able to recycle and refurbish so very many things. If your customers keep bringing you items like this, feel free to come and sell them here. Of course. Well then, I'll be off. Ah, oh, sorry to make you wait. I must take off now, but please come by my shop to chat when you get the chance. Love to see you. Okay, bye. Take your time. <laughs> we gotta get through all these intro cutscenes. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Welcome to the Recycle Shop. Retail. Oh my. Would you happen to be the new mayor? Indeed I would. I'm so happy you decided to stop by our humble little shop. What an honor. Our shop buys items and furniture to resell here. We'll also pay a premium for any high value items listed on the board in front of the shop. In addition to selling to us outright, you could set your own price and put items on display for others to buy. So mayor, if you have something you no longer need, please feel free to bring it by for a fair price. Yeah, I got stuff. Yeah, I got stuff. What do you want? What you need? How can I help you? Let me sell to you. You want to sell something? What'd you bring? Lots of stuff. I got a lamp. No, I'm not gonna do that. I got a shirt, a couple sand dollars. Should I sell the squid? Hmm, I'm gonna keep the squid. We'll just get rid of all the, the shells. I want to go to the museum too. So I got fishes to donate. Is this everything then? Well, I'll start crunching the numbers right away. Well, then I could probably part with 785 bells for all of it, if that sounds okay with you. Deal. Total deal. <laughs> Thank you. Come back with more anytime you like. I do appreciate it. I could set some items back here if I find something nice. Hey, what are you doing? Stop! My darling's extremely tired from working all night, so please let him get some sleep, okay? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I know exactly how that is. And luckily, <laughs> my wife is also nice and lets me sleep when I need to. You're right, it's two in the afternoon. You're right, my husband is asleep. Do not disturb him. <laughs> oh god bless her little heart. I love her so, you know that? <clears> hmm, <throat> there's something in the pond. Perhaps I could catch. I just got to get on the edge. There you go. Come on, little fishy. Look over here, little fishy. Freshwater fish are always the best. Because usually it's not even a fish. It's like a frog or something. That's my favorite. Two? Three? Nope. Four? Nope. 
Five. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gotta test out how many times they can actually do that. I caught a tadpole. I'm sure it'll grow on me. <laughs> That's a good one. Like I said, frog. Well, not quite a frog. Not yet. But if I keep him in my house, I put him in my in my house with a stick and a leaf to simulate his natural environment. Hey, Tammy. What up with it? Great to see you again, Chippy. What's up? Oh, just saying hi when we're passing by. By the way, where's your house, Dayton? Uh, it's not far from here. Good for you. I think that was a very good choice. Well, no matter where your house is, don't worry about your mail finding you. Hey, maybe I'll send you a letter sometime. I love getting mail. You can buy stationery at the store on the main street. Then, once you've written a letter, you should go to the post office near the store to mail it. Now, don't put anything in a letter you wouldn't want anyone to see. Letters, you know, get around. <laughs> Just like you do, Tammy. I mean, no, not that. Why is that flower all sparkly? I don't want to run into it and ruin anything. If they've got a bug net at the shop, I'm totally going to catch whatever that thing is. Doop, doop, doop. I also have to go visit Tom Nook. Man, there's so much to do. L so little time to do it. If I was uploading an hour per day, it might be a little more manageable. Hey, knock knock. It's almost three o'clock. Not really. It's super early in the morning here. That's why the lights are off. <laughs> but I hope you don't mind too much. That's okay, isn't it? I appreciate your understanding. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Dayton. Yes, yes, welcome. Have you finished everything you needed to do to move in? I have, of course, completed running the numbers on your home loan, Dayton. Yes, yes. Now let us discuss the cost. You know, Dayton, we can't build you a house unless you have all the necessary costs covered, hmm? So the down payment is nothing but a paltry 10,000 bells. Okay, let's do it. Very good, though we can't break ground on your home until your down payment is received, hmm? Don't worry, no, no, this town is rich in crops and other resources. You'll find it easy to earn money. You can collect fruit and seashells and take them to the recycling shop to earn quick cash, yes? Once you've saved a bit, buying a net or a fishing rod at the store is a good idea as well, it is indeed. You can use such tools to go forth and catch insects and fish to sell too. An easy path to riches, hmm? Much faster than searching for low-paying part-time employment, yes? Ho ho ho, yes, yes. So come and see me right away when you've saved up 10,000 bells. Good luck, good luck. Okay, we're halfway there. Thanks much. Well, maybe less than halfway. I know there's going to be some tools at the shop. And I can't do without the tools, because I need the tools to make the money. And really, uh, yeah. I should probably wait on some, some museum things until maybe I get the down payment started. Because I really would like to live in a house rather than a tent. I think that would be a fine thing. <laughs> and 10,000 10, bells ain't that much. At least they don't have you running around doing meager uh, employment tasks. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Well, don't need to worry about tools today. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> That's sad. So sad. I guess I should visit the Able Sisters as well. See if they have any good clothes. Basically, I'm <laughs> I got all these bells. They're burning a hole in my pocket. But at least we can uh, sort of play the game now. I can't catch bugs, which is super unfortunate. But mm, I guess it'll have to wait. I'm totally going to go sell my fish and things. Is, is a squid rare? I don't think so. I don't think a sea bass is rare. Tadpole? Might be. Never seen it before. Hello! Welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the Able Sisters. Are you, by any chance, the new mayor everyone's talking about? Oh, everyone around town has been buzzing about you, so we were you were quite easy to recognize. As you can see, our store mostly specializes in handmade clothes. If you'd like accessories, please look in the accessory shop that's right next door. Oh, yeah, nice place you got here, huh? Yeah, okay. I was looking for accessories, rather. But it's cool they have, like, actual dresses now. So you can kind of, uh, wear a dress if you want. I do. 
Where's the kilts? Do you guys make kilts? Do you custom order? I'll ask you about it next time. And also, I should probably start talking to Sewing Machine Lady. So she can open up about herself. Tell me some dark, dirty little secrets of hers. Ho ho. Yes, you know those hedgehogs. They all have secrets. Mmm. <laughs> ah, just kidding. I don't know nothing about them. Who are you? Label. Hello. Hello. Grand to see you. Oh my god. I love this. The wrestling mask. That's not a bad choice. When you want to look like a pro wrestler, this item's just the thing. The cost is 900 bells. What would you like to do? Uh, I'll take it. Thanks. Yes, I've received the 900 bells. Outstanding. This is going to be the best look for me. Ah. La luchador de Don. Bye-bye. Thanks. It, was it a good investment? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't see myself wearing it all that often. You know, it gets hot and sweaty in this nylon face mask. But maybe it'll be good. Oh, should I go to the museum? Um, I guess so. Alright. I gotta make, make my introductions. Although, is he asleep? I think I can wake him up, right? Oh gosh, I hope I'm not intruding. The the retail guy was, you know, working a late night. I'm sure Blathers had a late night too. Excuse me, buddy. Hello? Ooh. Oh, who? Oh, I'm a bit of a night owl. Drowsy in the daytime, you see. Welcome to the penis museum. <laughs> Ooh, aren't you our new mayor? I'm Blathers, the director of this museum. It's my honor entirely to make your acquaintance. Our museum exhibits the very best in archaeology, the natural sciences, and art. Fine, and otherwise. Oh, there I go again. You'll find that each time I open my beak, ten words fall out when two will do. I do apologize. I've been trying to get better, but when I have a thought that takes flight... Hmm, never mind. Let me start over with who fewer words. This museum exhibits insects, fish, assessed fossils, and artwork. The reason? To make penis as great as it can be. <laughs> but here's our problem. We're currently exhibiting... nothing. Eh. Ooh, it's a tad embarrassing. But perhaps you can help. Who de who you can. If you donate your precious finds to the museum, I would be eternally grateful, as would all of penis. Okay, I'll give you something. How may I be of service? Can you assess a fossil? What would you like me to assess? I got two of them. Sweet, you can do them at the same time. Fantastic. Oh, ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Woohoo! All of these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. What a surprise! You have a knack for finding fossils, don't you? I'm incredibly jealous. I hope I can convince you to donate them for Penis's cultural development. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating them, though. Who? May I offer any further assistance? You can have these fossils. What would you like to donate? I, I should just donate everything, right? We're not going to get to 5,000 bells with this. And who knows how long it's going to take me to find those fossils again. Only sell the duplicates. That's the right thing to do. I can live in a tent for one more night. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Hmm, yes. We'll gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all the donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? Nothing. Then please enjoy the rest of your visit. I kind of miss on the GameCube version when Blathers is like... You know, he has a, a funny little story, a little saying for each and everything that you donate. But I guess that's just the price you pay. Maybe if I donate things individually, he'll go back to that. And if that's the case, then I shall revert to donating things individually. Because I like to have a little chuckle every now and again.
Maybe I should have bought some paper for notes or something like that. Nah, that's alright. We good. I'm back in town. What up, babies? Hello, babies. Let's try and catch whatever this is. I'm gonna go visit Isabel on another day. She's like, oh, you should start being the mayor. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> I visited Tom Nook. I found out how many bells I have to save up. Isn't that enough for one day? I'm, I'm only a human. I know you guys don't probably know too much about being a human, since you're all anthropomorphic creatures, but still, that was a really good cast. By the way, three? Lucky three! Give me Tadpole, so I can sell it. Hooray! I'm sure once the uh, seasons change, these things will probably grow into frogs. Whenever it has like a really good rain here in the Philippines, there's so many tadpoles, like in every conceivable place that there could be water, there's tadpoles in it. And then in a couple weeks, there's frogs absolutely everywhere. And I assume a lot of them get eaten or run over by cars or whatever. Because a couple weeks after that, those frogs are gone. And the only ones you see are the big fat bullfrogs. The ones that survived the culling. <laughs> Alright. I should also be keeping my eye out for X's. Ooh, a loach. It wasn't hard to approach. Yes, indeed. Good for us. How about this? Oh, I'm getting good. I'm getting super good. I, sp I scared that other fish away, though. Oh, another loach. Okay. It still wasn't hard to approach. <laughs> oh, my. I wonder where those X's could be. I always have trouble spotting them. It might have something to do with color blindness. I'm not quite sure. But if I can blame it on that, why not? Why not do so? Just wanted to take like one little trip around and see how it went. I really wish there was a net today. Can you believe that the things are the same? That's madness, isn't it? Oh well. I'll probably uh, wait a couple days before coming back. Hopefully these, these animals don't get too mad. <clears throat> They'll never forgive me. They'll just be like, what's wrong with you, Dayton? You just said hi to us and, and left forever and broke our hearts. Oh, there's some weeds. Forgot about that. Gotta watch for the weeds. They just pop up everywhere. What's up here? Oh, new mysteries. Observatory? That's a total guess. <laughs> Campsite. Or something. Oh, there's a hippie dog. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Is this your first time here? Well, welcome. The name's Harvey. You can call me hard for short, or hard for long. Ha 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 ha. That's a good one. Plain old Harvey's fine too. Now, some people might tell you that car camping isn't real camping, but I say like, fooey to that, man. We got a real nice crowd here, just lovely people from all over the world. They come to relax and meet new folks, so don't be shy. Come on anytime and say hello. Oh, I almost forgot, as the camp host, I run a little shop here too. It's not much, just a humble little outpost, but you're welcome to browse our wares any time. Just one thing, your bells are no good here. We only accept meow coupons. Anyway, nice to meet you. Hope to see you again. Toodles! Toodles, poodles. Eh, this stuff's not even that nice anyways. Shouldn't be so picky. Mr. Harv. I wonder what he means by people stop by every so often. Hmm. I bet I could find some of my old favorite characters there. I'm just looking for like one thing that I could dig up. There we go. Voila. It has arrived. And with this... Sweet. Another fossil. We'll bring that to the museum tomorrow. And I think I'm a... Uh... I'm gonna call it for today. Basically just catch a few fish, wait around a little bit. I don't have to be like super addicted to Animal Crossing like I used to be. 
it's just the kind of game that you can take one day at a time, and that's the best part of all. Hey, another fossil! Eventually it'll start raining. I'll start digging up gyroids and fill up my house with those like I used to. <laughs> Try and make them uh, make a song, but they never quite do, do they? Anyways, friends, this has been Animal Crossing New Leaf. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. It helps to get out there. Lord knows it needs it. <laughs> uh, also check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, and a big, big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon currently. Once again, friends, this has been Animal Crossing New Leaf. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.